Hello, everybody. Welcome to the United Way. This is our match preview. Arsenal, Manchester United. You know, guys, if anyone was worried or complaining to you guys why United doesn't want, why United, uh, why you guys are angry that United haven't bought a player, the game against Arsenal will just answer the question. Just tell them. I mean, if anyone in your house is, which is, um, which you're living with, is complaining that, oh, you're you're not grateful for Manchester United, not, uh, I mean, the, the owners not buying players. Just tell them to come and watch the Arsenal game because this would be a big, big test of the game. I, uh, guys, before we continue, guys, please click the like on the video. Thanks all of you who have been liking and being on our stream. Today is a deadline day, but I, I mean, I will go on live, uh, live on the channel only when Sofrim Amrabat is confirmed as a Manchester United player. Full stop. This is my channel, The United Way. Feel free and join it. But let me tell you guys this. I will go out uh, online only if Manchester United sign Sofrim Amrabat. So yeah, with that said, let's go straight into it. Manchester United and Arsenal have met. I mean, since what was deal 18, 18, 30 something, I think I, from what I, 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 I mean, I, I, wrote, I wrote it somewhere here. United have been playing with Arsenal since 1894. You know, they have played together. I mean, 239 games, which United have won 99 and Arsenal has won uh, 89. This is for stats, some of you who have stats. And uh, yeah, and they have drew um, uh, 53 games as a pair. This might just be um, some uh, history about the two clubs. Our rivalry, the last time we were really great rivals, it was when during the period when Arsene Wenger was manager uh, in, for Arsenal, when, uh, no, when Vieira, when Mancena with the Beckhams, we had the Roy Keynes, Beck, uh, also Beckhams, you know, we had a very good team. I'm trying to say that in the early 2000s, uh, yeah, we were rivals. And it seems as if it, those good old days are slowly coming in, but Arsenal are in the front foot because they are doing well in their transfer they have a, a plan while Manchester are still with the greedy Americans for the past 18 years who don't want to leave you know when I think about the Glazers I think about uh, you know when you have a, something like a boil a pimple in your face you're just waiting for it to get ripe so you can just twist your face and um, so it pops out and really gives you some 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 time to relieve. I think that will be the Glazers when they leave. We will we, we, we will go live here when they leave one day. They will leave. That's a direct. That's something which is clear. Well, this game Manchester Arsenal Sunday we will be live here. You can come and meet up here, guys. Please make sure you subscribe, guys. We want to hit ten thousand k so we can um, bring in journalists here to answer your questions. So let's go straight with the lineup. I have put if you have realized in my lineup, you if you have been. Um, following us here on the channel you know what we do on this program is we give you guys a chance to 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 try to try, try to get into ten hacks mind and tell us who is going to play i have struggled so hard to get this lineup out which i think this is the lineup ten hack is going to use i i i mean the low i mean this is the lineup yes he's not going to play with two center forward but i think this is the lineup by the way drop your lineup below i love reading your lineups because most of you you drop your lineups and i see uh, and you guys uh you guys are always there there some of you have 80 90 percent correct but i think this is one of the reasons why i th i think uh ten hag is difficult for for uh to be to, to, to it's so difficult to read ten hacks mind in terms of the way he sees football right it's very difficult but anyway guys uh this is a game in which united if we win we're going nine points so we're going ahead of arsenal if we win at um uh, in uh, there i think the last time we we won uh in um the emirates it was when i think that Di Maria goal i think it was uh we, we it was a counter-attack we had with wayne roney to Di Maria. Then we scored. That was back in the Van Gaal days. Since then, we have been having difficulties, maybe a draw or at most. We haven't won in the Premier League there. So what the way I've gone in, guys, I will try to make the video short. I've gone in with my goalkeeper, uh, Onana. And by the way, guys, today, uh, yesterday, Onana was called for the you know, Cameroon national team. And if Sofim Amrabat comes tomorrow, um, signs today, we will have two players for two months. Who will be absent from manchester united team which means that we will have to go into the market again so those are technicalities for those of you who are very good at grumbling uh that we need to put into consideration yeah so i will put uh, yeah i've gone now goalkeeper here yeah. we have uh, we have uh, onana he will play in front of me his two central back licha i think uh lindelof comes here and the left in the absence of uh Tare malasia and Lin and um look sure i will go with uh Delo on the left and on the right we go with Spider-Man here yeah, around one Basaka. 
Mastercards are placed in front of the two defenders. And this is the big time surprise. The big time surprise here. I will want to put McTominay and warn him that he should never go out of here. So McTominay has to be here. I will want McTominay to be here. I will want McTominay. He should only go here. Uh, he will only go ahead only if the, the, the center backs or the midfielders tell him, which means McTominay should listen to Casemiro. So if Casemiro is here, McTominay has to be around here. Why? Because we are playing against a very good Arsenal team. They are very good in transition. He needs to play his game of the life. I mean, the game of his, his life. The thing is that um, uh, uh, McTominay can have a good game, but he lacks concentration. These English players, they have issues. That the, the British players, they, they, they lack that concentration. Cristiano Ronaldo said it. I mean, they lack that concentration. It's not like an individual thing. It seems as if it's a regional thing. Yeah, but... Um, Maybe because they have an advantage. So I will play with Rashford in the left. Uh, I, Ganacho should come in only in the second half in certain situations. I think Ganacho is a good player, but he's still a youth player. Maybe we have given him a lot of coverage and uh, a lot of responsibility which weighs on him. You see, Ganacho coming in into games creates more uh, no, impact than when he starts because, he, I mean, for some reasons, he, he, he cannot deal with the pressure yet. So uh, in front of them, the holding midfielder is our captain, Bruno Fernandes. Hate him or like him, he was the man of the match for most of you in our last game. And I think he will be vital today, sorry, on Sunday against Arsenal. And uh, I would have loved Sancho, but I am sure that Eric Ten Hag will go with Anthony on the right. There are many reasons why coaches, some of you said, there are many reasons why coaches go with certain players. Uh, even if they are not doing well, players that they brought them. Because just look at the situation. A, a friend of mine who also has a YouTube channel called me and told me about this Anthony that he's gutted by his performance. But I said, you know what? If you're a manager buying a player for 100 million euros in a club and you're benching that player, then how do you want the club to back you in buying other players? We are not Man City. We don't have that excess finance. I'm talking about Manchester United. So I don't understand for all of you who are not, you have to be rational. If you're not rational, then that's the only way that can make, the only thing that can keep you happy in Manchester United today is that you have to be rational. If you're not rational, then you will have a tough, tough time Manchester United with the present owners that we have. These are people who don't want to even buy, I mean, they don't, these are people who go to McDonald's, they're not ready to go to restaurants to buy elite, uh, I mean, quality players. Yeah, so uh, we have uh, so Anthony is here. Then I did something here. Rasmus Holland. We know Rasmus Holland. This is a game in which he will be on the bench. I think he might come in depending on the situation, but I think Ten Hag will give this guy at least 20 minutes to, to taste the champ, to taste the Premier League before he, get, he has a home game. But uh, I think um, uh, Marshall will start. Something is telling me, guys, I don't know about you. Something is telling me that Marshall... Because it's made of glass, uh, he, well, I don't wish it to happen. I'm not jinxing anything, but I think my, my, I hope I'm jinxing it. Marshall might have like some, those type of injuries, muscle injuries, and then you will have to see uh, an early um, debut for, uh, my, uh, for Rasmus Holland, and, uh, which uh, is something which I don't think Ten Hag will be looking forward. The reason why, I think the, the only, uh, so I will keep... Uh, I will take him out. Let me keep him here. I will take Rasmus Ola out and Masha will be here. So guys, tell me what you think about this lineup. Do you think this is a good lineup? Because I really want, because the game will be played in the midfield. If there will be a lot in the wings, you know, this guy, Anthony has to work his ass. Marcus Rashford has to fall back and work with um, uh, walk with um, with his uh, defender. So we will have to be very compact when we are not in possession. And in possession, we will have to also be uh, very, uh, very smart. We have to kill the chances in which we have. Because if we... Uh, and no matter how you see it, it would depend a lot on if McTominay beco doesn't become a, a passenger. So uh, my scores with I will go with this game. This is one of those games which I won't I won't uh, say a win for Manchester United. I think this will be a clear draw. I will take a draw as of this moment. I will take a draw. I will tell you guys that the first 15, 20 minutes will matter a lot. Concentration will be key. Concentration will be key. We will we'll also count on a very good goalkeeper uh, performance because. You know we are playing away against a team which many think they will be fighting for the champion for the for the premier league this season anyway guys tell me what you think below do you think manchester united is going to win 
And um, I mean, who should start? Tell me your lineup. I'm so eager to see what you guys think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have some ideas on who will start. So drop your comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Smash a like on the video if you like it. And yeah, guess what? Um, talk to you soon, guys.